Welcome to the North Pole. Now, you may be wondering why our biggest elf here at the North Pole, Robbie, is, well, our biggest elf. Let's just say he drinks a lot of milk. Santa is lactose intolerant. There are some drawbacks to being so much taller than everyone else, but he's Santa's favorite elf by a mile. Hey, Robbie, Santa wants to see you. Oh boy, I love seeing Santa. You wanted to see me, Santa? Hello there, Robbie. Come on in. You got it. Rory, I want to ask you something. When was the last time you left the North Pole? Well, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever left the North Pole. But why would I need to? Everything I need is right here. Well, I wouldn't say that. You know, some things I can't teach you. You got to go to the real world. The real world? You've been a great help to me, Robbie, but you really have to leave the workshop. You've got to go to school. You know, Christmas right around the corner. I'm not very good at planning stuff. Go to school, but what am I going to do there? There's a wise man I want you to meet there. He'll teach you the lessons you need to learn to be a true elf for others. Well, who is he? I can't tell you that now, but I'll tell you one thing, Rob. He's going to wear the most beautiful Christmas sweater you've ever seen. Okay, Santa, but what school am I going to? You're going to prep. Prep? Which one? The prep. Oh, St. Peter's. Yep, that's the one. Okay, Santa, I'll, I'll try my best, but how am I going to get there? You can sled pool with Mr. Kaneen. Okay, he's my best elf. And if he asks, just join the Model UN. Somebody has to join, right? Okay, Santa, anything else I should know? You know, go to Milano's for lunch. Pick up a chicken palm for me, you know, on the way. And while you're there, too, get Mr. Caulfield off the naughty list. You got it, Santa. And so, Robbie sled pulled with Mr. Kaneen to St. Peter's Prep to find the wise man. Whoa, whoa. Boots, even elf boots, are not permissible in academic buildings. But I wear these all the time, and it's snowing outside. It's not even that bad. Get rid of the boots. You have three jugs. Do something about all of this, too. But what's jug? It means giant is under God, okay? Oh, thanks. Oh, man, I'm going to be late. And that's how Robbie began to think that jug meant jolliness under God. You're late, and you have jug. You have 48 minutes to finish this test. Good luck. Oh, yes, another jug. Hey, what'd you get for number two? Oh, I, I don't think we're allowed to talk during test. I mean, that's the rule in the North Pole. No, don't worry about it, man. It's not, it's not cheating. It's, it's collaborating. You do that in the North Pole, don't you? Yeah, we collaborate all the time. Listen, look, for number one, I got A. Number two, I got D. Number three, I got B. Four, C. Five's D. What's going on here? I can't believe you're cheating in my class. The class of 2019 I expected from. But you and Elf and Tyler, I don't think you want these answers. Both of you, get out of my class and you get into dress code. Well, at least you have a free period. Well, that's one way to think about it. Thanks, friend. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Great. It looks like I'm going to miss second period. Excuse me. 
Merry Christmas! Hey Rob, how are you? Hey Mr. Geary, I'm doing good. Good. Uh, Rob, do you like apples? Yeah, candy apples. Well, you have jug. How do you like them apples? Don't ride the elevator without a pass. Yes, another jug! Still got it. Still funny. This calls for some Christmas music. Por favor, apaga esa música. Estoy en una clase. I can't really hear you. You want me to play Spanish Christmas music? No, por favor, silencia esa música. I got you. Feliz Navidad. It's the perfect song. Eh, tienes ya. Merry Christmas. Dios mío, qué paciencia con estos niños. Hey, another elf! I'm so glad to see you. Hey, one elf to another. You know where I could find the wise man? What did you just call me? Uh, an elf. You're an elf, right? You're not one of the angry ones, though. You're one of the little happy ones. Bro, I'm not an elf. Get out of here. I want to give you a citizen's jug. Man, these Jersey City elves are really weird. <laughs> In regards to the origins of Christmas, there's some debate over key details, such as the, the birthplace of Jesus. Some people thought Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Some people think Nazareth. Santa! You're forgetting about Santa! Santa? Are you kidding me? There's no Santa in the Gospels. Uh, yeah, there is. Gave Jesus gold, frankincense, myrrh, right? No, there's no Santa in the Gospels. Do not interrupt me. You have jug. Yes, another jug! Oh, it's a toy making guide. You do it with a toy making guide in my class. Well, I didn't really have anything else to do. You know, we don't have Spanish in the North Pole, so I don't really need it. Well, you may not need Spanish in the North Pole, but you need to go to Jug Review today. Oh, yes, another Jug. I already got nine of them today. Boy, I'm going to be jolly when I meet the wise man. So as you can see from the graph, you have to take the derivative of the velocity of Santa's sleigh. No, 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 you have to take the integral. No, no, it's the derivative. Look right here. It's the integral. That's it. You have Jug. <gasps> jug, yes, another one! On the bread, you can't even eat it anymore. What are you doing? Like, like, what, how are you supposed to hold the sandwich? Like, it doesn't make sense. What are you doing? It's maple syrup. That's just wrong. You can't do that to a Milano sandwich. Not on my watch. You have junk. See Morris after school. My hands are out of here. change. I've got syrup all over myself. Oh, perfect. What are you doing? I'm just using this to clean the syrup off my hands. That's not what the shower's for. Get out and don't forget to go to drug review after school. If you say so. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Santa's here. I knew it. He's here to help me. Wait, this 
room has no decorations. This is no condition for Santa. And Robbie proceeded to decorate Miss Fensick's room. What did you do? I decorated for Santa, don't you like it? No, I do not like the fact that you one up to me. Go see Morris after school. But I have to see Santa. Well, if you need to see Santa, he's in the comments right now. Oh no, I don't want to miss him. Maybe, maybe a puppy if I'm lucky. That's a good one. Hey, get your clam out of here. That's not the real Santa. Well, of course I am. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, come on. No, look at him. He's a lot younger. That guy's an imposter. Now, look, these come right off. What? Father Cassidy, you were pretending to be Santa? Yeah, and I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for this meddling elf. I knew you weren't the real Santa. I'm going to tell the real Santa right now. Not so fast, Robbie. Get to my office right now. So, you're still out of dress code. You cheated. And you shamed Father Cassidy all on your first day at prep. You've accumulated quite a few jugs today. Thirty-seven to be exact. So many, I believe you've broken the school record for worst student. Worst student? But I thought jugs were supposed to be a good thing. Jolliness under God, you know? You're mistaken. The goal here at PrEP is not to accumulate as many jugs as possible. Oh, well that explains a lot. So how'd you even know about all those things? Well, you see, I have eyes everywhere. Regardless, I did not call you here to reprimand you. Really? Sure sounded like I was in trouble. Well, I do have a reputation to protect. Okay, but then why am I even here? You're here so that I can teach you how to be an elf for others. Does that mean you're the wise man? But I thought the wise man was supposed to be wearing a beautiful Christmas sweater. Like this one? Well, I wouldn't call it beautiful per se, but yeah, how'd you change so fast? All it took was some Christmas magic. But how do you know Santa? Who, who do you think writes the naughty list? It all makes sense now. That's why you didn't show up until the end of the movie. What? Anyway, can you teach me how to be an elf for others? Oh, yes, of course. Um, you see, in order to be a man... In order to be an elf for others, first you need to know about St. Ignatius of Loyola. Then you need to learn about the meaning of Ad Maiorum Dei. And that's why, when you strive for the Magus, there are no small good deeds, only small elves. I now know how to be an elf for others. Thanks, Mr. Morris. No problem, Robbie. Now, how would you like to learn about Prep's storied history? There's no time left. It's almost Christmas time. Bob, we got work to do. And so, Robbie went with Santa back to the North Pole, since he learned to be an elf for others. Bob, you've just been a terrific elf for others. You're the best. But me, they don't even think I'm real anymore. Well, maybe you should do an interview with the school newspaper, the Petra. Petra, is that still relevant today? Well, not really. Okay, well, we need something with a big plot. Hmm. What if we did a Christmas video? That sounds great. Let's do it. Leave Let's... it to me, Santa. We got it. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.